Hi guys, I hope by now that you've seen and read my email inviting you to my next workshop, which is all about how to manage Christmas. And I thought I'll just give you a bit of an update and a few clues on what you might get out of it and who might benefit from being there. So I know a lot of people kind of go, oh, I don't actually have that many functions around Christmas, so I don't really know how to manage, need to know how to manage them. But I think what we, um, need to remember is that it's not just Christmas. I know perhaps a lot of people have functions around Christmas um, and others have few functions, but I guess then there's Easter and then there's a holiday that you may have and then there's just the uh, the eating out that you may do through the year. So I guess it's uh, an opportune time to get together and discuss how you manage any social occasion. And I think it's really important because I know that there's a lot of anxiety that can happen at, when you're trying to lose weight and or maintain a health condition and then you've got these social events and often people have said oh I've got my friend's wedding coming up or I've got a birthday coming up and they're sort of stressing about how they're going to manage the food instead of remembering about how great the social event is in the first place and I know the main point of social events is to spend time with our friends and family. But of course, what we also see is the food around it. So it's perfectly understandable to get a little bit mm, anxious about social situations. So I'd like to actually put the fun back into social situations and give you a sense of control around that. So certainly if you're thinking, oh, Christmas is okay, but uh, I don't manage Easter too well, and every time I go on holiday, the whole thing falls apart. So then this is for you as well. It's certainly for you if you're sick of getting to New Year's Eve and going, oh, seriously, I've got to do something about my weight. So my aim is that you can enjoy New Year's Eve and just knowing that you're already doing it. So I would really encourage you to come along, and, and I guess one of the things, a little tip to leave you with is, is it's all about planning. The more we plan for things, the more we're likely to happen. So instead of just going to a party and going, oh, I hope I manage my food well, or I hope I manage my alcohol intake well, you go in with a plan. So it's much more likely to happen if you've got that plan happening. So what we'll be doing is discussing likely social situations you'll find yourself in and how you'll manage each one of those as well as revisiting for some and, and like introducing the concept to others about why. Where's the motivation coming from to, to stop eating the foods you love? And so I wanna create this balance for you as well to go, I can eat the foods I love and be in control of any social situation I find myself in. So instead of uh, looking forward anxiously to any social event. Um, it's about going, embracing it for what it is, an excellent opportunity to spend time with family and friends, but it also allows you to maintain that control that you have over your food intake. So I would love to give you all these, these tips and tools. Um, it's Saturday, the 29th of November at the Baldwin Library. Um, I've attached the, the flyer and the sign up sheet again. I would really love to see you there because I wanna take the guilt out of this. I wanna bring back the enjoyment to social occasions. So I look forward to seeing you. If you've got any questions, please shoot me an email. I'd love to hear from you. See you there.